how much distance does a shuttlecock travel in a badminton match now the immediate reaction of a student would be to visualize variables like oh its distance so distance is equal to speed into time so the questions which a student will ask is sir what is the size of a shuttlecock sir what is the weight of a shuttlecock sir what is the speed of a shuttlecock sir how much time does a badminton match last all of them are wrong 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 and this is why a student gets rejected in a question on how much distance does a shuttlecock travel speed is irrelevant time is irrelevant weight size shape are completely irrelevant although they are not wrong but the approach of this is something which is not the best approach in guesstimates you eventually have to take a guess somewhere but how beautifully do you structure it will make a difference between who gets rejected and who gets selected so when talking about the distance covered by shuttlecock in a badminton match you only need seven important variables nothing else and these seven important variables can be some as d s p r bag d for dimension of badminton court now quite likely most students will not know dimension of badminton court so here let me give you a rule called no ball number now in reality the dimension is approximately 30 meters by 5.2 meters if it's a double match then you are allowed to go up to 6.2 meters so you don't know badminton you don't know the dimension and interviewer said i will not tell you the dimensions so the principle of no ball number is it's okay to say sir i don't know the exact dimension of badminton court uh, may i assume 11 meters okay not a no ball may i assume 12 meters okay but the moment you say um, sir i think dimension will be 8 meter no ball sir dimension may be 30 meters no ball when a number is drastically out of the common sense range of what really is it shows to mckenzie bcg bain the inability of the student to make logical estimates so the principle of no ball number essentially means whatever is the real dimension even if you do not know it you should be in the range of plus minus 10% then mckenzie bcg bain will accept it so badminton court length 30 11 is okay 12 is okay 14 is okay 15 is okay but beyond that wrong with 5.2 5 is okay 6 is okay so that is the dimension that you need to know as a first thing then s s is how many sets now sets are contingent on many things quality of players the difference of their competency if a pv sindhu were to play with somebody who is not a good player what will be the score 210 210 21, match finish so you will here have to say sir i am going to assume a equally competitive professional match where they both are very strong so i will assume the game will go to three sets now remember in lawn tennis men have five women have best of three badminton is basically best of three So we have established dimension is 13 by 5. We have established is three sets. That is D for dimension, S for sets. Then come P for points. How competitive was the match? Was it 21-0, 0-21, 21-0, or was it 22-20, 20-22, 22-20? Actually, in badminton, if it's deuce. then the match can go up to like 130 by 128 till the gap of two points so here you have to talk to the interviewer sir i am going to assume a competitive match where if you allow me may i assume that the score is 22 20 2022 and 22 20 although sir a deuce game could go almost to infinite length till the two point gap comes but sir for practical purposes i am going to assume this is on the longer side but is it okay sir so you have to ask this kind of a suggestive question and then he'll say okay so dimension clear 13 by 5 sets 1 2 3 point score 22 by 20 20 by 22 22 by 20 then comes r r is rallies each point runs for how many rallies now again it could go infinite tick tock tick tock infinite 
but realistically human body has some limitation here it's not easy but you could say sir i am assuming a pv sindhu versus saina nehwal kind of a match very competitive so sir while rallies could go as i as 100 90 80 but some of them may be a clear smash or two three so sir is it okay may i assume twenty so they may say yes so now we got 126 points multiplied by average rally tick tock 20 so round off we have 2500 shots tick tock tick tock so we have got d s t r then comes b b is blending are all shots similar no some of them will be cross court hit from here to there some of them will be tick drop shot it's impossible to assess again there could be million of pattern so once again suggestive question sir in terms of blend some of the shots could be from one end to another end where the length could be if we use the distance about 14 meters or more while some could be drop shot which could be 2 meters so sir is it okay that may i go ahead with a ratio of 80 20 out of 2500 i'll assume 80% are big end to end and 20% are drop shots i'm just making this assumption is it okay sir and they may say yes so that means out of 2500 points 2000 points were long distance and 500 points were just put short one so now we have done d s p r b then comes a a is angle there are two angles over here one is pythagoras theorem cross court shot 13 square plus 5 square whole under root which means about 14 meter so if pv sindhu hit from here to saina nehwal over there it is 14 meters but that's not the only angle the second angle is parabola sometimes pv sindhu could hit like this and it could go there and fall there and parabola becomes more difficult because nobody is going to get the parabola mathematical so you are going to say sir to simplify it i am going to assume that parabola effect is negligible may i go ahead with that assumption if this is no 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 please assume some parabola then use a multiplier like 1.1 so 14 meter cross court will become 15 and you could say sir so to summarize the angle factor i am going to assume that angle wise 80% shots will go approximately 14 meter distance and 20% shots will be just simple put so they will go shorter distance and then you are now clear with your calculation but one last element is left and that element is dead shuttle dead shuttle means when somebody wins a point then the shuttle is dead so abhi tak we have it incorporated that because one person always will return it back to the other so you'll say sir just for safety may i assume that the dead shuttle we can ignore and most probably they'll say yes once you have built all the structure then the whole equation narrows down to a very simple mathematical question 2500 times the shuttle was hit excluding the dead return shuttle 500 of them covered let's say 4 meter took short distance which is 500 into 4 about 2 kilometers so 2000 times it went here to there where we could assume a medium number of let's say 12 meters because some of them could have been mid court also so 12 meters multiplied by 2000 gives you 24 kilometers 24 plus 2 your answer is 26 kilometers that is d s p r bad rule but is 26 kilometer our answer no the last element is how often is a shuttle changed so you will clarify sir i have never played badminton in my life so i just want to clarify are you wanting me to calculate total distance by all the shuttle cocks because i don't know at what frequency shuttles are changed but sir for simplicity may i go ahead and assume that about every 10 to 12 point they are changed so 10 shuttles will be used we will say okay and if they say that then your answer is to simplify 25 Divided by 10, 2.5 kilometers. So through the Vasco framework, you visualize, you ask questions, you structure, you calculate it, and then at the end, McKinsey, BCG, they will ask you, "Beta, now 
प्लीज डू अ सैनिटी चेक प्लीज यू सम अदर मैथड टू एज्यूम दैट योर कैलकुलेशन इज राइट नाउ अदर मैथड इज ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल टू हंड्रेड परसेंट मैच विद ओरिजिनल सो इफ यू आर टॉकिंग टोटल डिस्टेंस आर आर नंबर वर्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स किलोमीटर्स हाउ डू यू जस्टिफाई ट्वेंटी सिक्स किलोमीटर्स सो अदर मैथड शुड यूज चाणक्या नीति वेयर यू नीड शार्पेस्ट क्विक मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन the variable with which you calculate other method should never i repeat never be same as the variable of the first one in the first one we used number of points number of rallies distance in the second one my beloved students you can go to the mathematical rule which is distance covered is equal to speed into time because for other method for sanity check you will be only given one minute here you could say so since i have assumed the pv sindhu saina nehwal match now I don't follow badminton very closely, but I understand. I understand a typical match is 40 to 50 minutes, but I think this very competitive match may have lasted for let's say 75 minutes, which is 1.25 hours. So the match lasted for seven hours, 1.25 hours. Now, sir, I can't say exactly, but when human beings walk, our speed is five kilometers. When we jog, eight. When we run, eleven, twelve. Now I'm going to assume shuttle will go at double. So the average speed of shuttle is 20 kilometers per hour. So sir, as a quick sanity check, I will assume 20 multiplied by 1.25, which comes to about 25 kilometers. Now answers are not exactly matching. One is 25, other is 25. Then comes the last Ranveer Kapoor, Alia Bhatt, Brahmatra. So sir, broadly in the ballpark range, the main calculation shows 26. and the sanity check is showing 25 so sir under the assumption vasco a assumption of asking question when we assume that it's a competitive match between pv sindhu and saina nehwal there are three sets score line is 22 by 20 20 by 22 and 22 by 20 there are approximately 80% long shots 20% drop shots including pythagoras and parabola 4 meters for a drop shot 12 meters for a long shot under this scenario a shuttle cock travels 26 kilometers give or take as an approximate number to end this session i want to re- you all to remember a important rule number is important but number comes much later most guesstimates will end at vasco ka s you have to visualize you have to ask questions If you are not allowed to ask questions, somebody comes. Some companies will not allow you to ask questions. Then you have to assume. So, company like Trustvista said, "Yes, Mr. Beta, we will not tell you anything. You assume. Do it. 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 do you go the wrong way or do you go the right way is the entire difference between life and death if your structure is right you will clear the estimate 90% of the time so if you can think that shuttlecock in badminton is d s p r bag dimension of the court the entire number of sets the points being played rally per point the blend of drop versus blend of long the angle of pythagoras the angle of parabola and dead shot exclusion then no force in the universe can deny the chance to be selected but i would like to end with one last brahmastra unlike guesstimates normal interviews are about simply stating guesstimates are about asking questions guesstimates are about building structures and guesstimates are about logical assumptions you will not be allowed to google you will not be allowed to use calculator but can you build the logical visualization ask question structure it is the secret to ensure guesstimate counts so use the vasco framework to ensure guesstimate thank you so much sir